Hi, this is Shirley, Radio Prepper. I'm at the park today and uh, I'm going to test once again the uh, TX500 by Lab599. Actually, I wasn't feeling much like going anywhere this weekend, but I've done that for the last couple weekends and that's really not good. When you feel, you know, cooked up and you know, it becomes a habit and that's what you kind of want to do. Uh, you really have to push yourself and get outside, you know, uh, nature, go for a walk. And actually I'm happy I came out and I have to finish testing this radio because of course I won't have it for much longer and uh, I wanted to uh, play with it a little bit more. It's still not going to be an in-depth review really, but you'll see some contacts hopefully and maybe I'll discover a few more things about this radio. The whole station fits in my bag here, including the antenna, coax, battery, Morse key, the radio of course, I uh, have uh, my Elocraft T1 tuner. And this is not a big pack, but it's not that small either. Uh, my smallest uh, go box, uh, if you may call it that, is actually fits, uh, my station fits in a small uh, tea, uh, tin can. So not the smallest, but you know, compared to some, uh, it's not a big radio station. It's not super minimalistic, but uh, I have the radio, something to take notes. I want to check the current consumption battery pack. That's a pretty big one, actually, and a uh, big alley key. Coax Chameleon Hybrid Micro, that's the key element. Coax, the, the uh, 5 meter whip and the spike to uh, stick everything in the ground. So no counterpoise. <laughs> we'll see if that works. Uh, hopefully I can use uh, quite a few bands. I hope to get down to 40 meters. We'll try just about everything and see if it works. Now keep in mind that this is a non-resonant antenna. So it won't be the best and it's just uh, a compromise antenna but a good one and uh, sometimes you know you don't need much the soil is quite damp today so that's going to be good for the ground ah so wish for bnc very good there is a choke on the coax. Now it's not a big one, but it's going to help actually make the uh, the shield of the coax uh, my counterpoise, so to speak. And uh, I have my uh, Elecraft uh, T1 tuner. You know, I didn't notice those little arms before, and that's awesome for uh, to support the radio in a position that you can see the screen. Bravo, Yankee. Yes, very, very good uh, afternoon there in France. Um, and uh, I copy you around 57, let's say 57. And uh, name here is Toko, Tango, Oscar, Uniform, Kilo, Oscar, Toko. And we are north of Helsinki, 300 kilometers. So, Happy New Year. How are you doing? Florida 4, Whiskey Bravo, Yankee, 57, Oscar Hotel 6, Radio Mike. Thank you very much. Uh, doing well uh, here, I'm... Uh... Uh, set up uh, portable. My QTH is uh, Antibes. Antibes. That is between uh, Cannes and Nice. Uh, here at a uh, local park, and I'm testing a QRP radio. So, about 10 watts with a five meter uh, whip. Uh, so, uh, yeah, thank you very much, and uh, a happy New Year to you as well. So. Uh, yeah, doing well. The weather is not uh, not very sunny today, but it's not cold. <laughs> I imagine it's much colder where you live, so uh, back to you. Yeah, we have minus nine, minus nine only uh, at the moment. Uh, what is my report and your name? Over. Oh, sorry, you are a 5.5, five, 5.5 five, five here. Uh, very good uh, modulation, very clear and very strong. Over. USL, and you are 57. On the meter of my FT1000. Can I have your name, please? Certainly, my name is Gilles. Gilles, it's spelled uh, Golf India Lima. Uh, Golf India Lima. And I'm using a, uh, my station here is a uh, TX500 uh, portable radio. And I'm going to try it on different bands. And I decided to start, uh, glad I decided to start on 15 meters. Uh, back to you. USL, and you are doing very well on. 
major with the antenna. Absolutely great achievement. Congratulations, uh, Jill. Yes. And I'm running one kilowatt into seven element monobander homebrew. Minus nine, minus nine outside, snow on the ground, wintry weather compared to yours. Seventy trees, happy new year, all the best. Uh, Corina 4, Whiskey Bravo, Yankee Oscar Hotel 6, Radio Mike. Thank you, uh, thanks again, and uh, hopefully we'll... Uh We'll uh, have uh, other uh, contacts in the future. Uh, this will be on a, on a video if you don't mind and uh, I'll just keep going and try uh, trying different bands. Uh, thank you very much. Have a great day. Foxtrot for Whiskey. Bravo. Yankee. Over. I, I wish you all the best for DXing other bands also. See you soon. See you soon. Merci beaucoup. Oscar Hotel 6 Radio. Mic is clear. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, that's a very good start. <laughs> The uh, current draw does uh, hover around 100 milliamps, but it's really uh, it really depends on the uh, audio level. But uh, you know, it seems to be about just right. Actually, if you uh, lower the volume or use earphones, you're going to use uh, quite a bit less than that. Foxtrot for whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot for whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Thank you very much. And uh, good afternoon, 5x7, my hand of Hari, Hotel on Farron, Roma Yanki, QTH Sofia, capital city of Bulgaria. Back to you, over. Oh, very nice. Uh, thank you very much. You are 5'6 here in the uh, south of France, the uh, city of Antibes. Uh, that's between Cannes and uh, Nice. I'm here, uh, portable, QRP, uh, 10 watts, with a 5 meter whip. And uh, thank you very much for the report. And uh, Happy New Year. Back to you. Oh, my name is Gilles, Golf India Lima. Golf India Lima, QSR. Gilles, please show. Uh, unbelievable. 5.9 plus 10 dB. Your portable and uh, QRP station. Very, very good signal. So, thank you very much, Gilles. We should 73, successful and uh, healthy new year. And uh, till next time. Fox 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, LZ1, GU. Merci beaucoup. Thanks a lot and uh, have a great day and... Uh, uh, maybe another time. Bye. 73, bye, bye. Very easy on 20 meters, and uh, I'm going to try 30 meters uh, CW. Oh, he's fading. Gary. I don't know if he got me because uh, it was fading fast.
incidentally, yeah, I don't have any any CW problems anymore, it seems. So uh, maybe that was my antenna. Maybe my magnetic loop isn't so uh, immune to, uh, you know, common mode currents as I previously thought. Well, we lost Gary. Lots of signals on 40 meters everywhere. LSB and CW. QSL, uh, Petra, merci beaucoup. Uh, uh, vous êtes uh, uh, 5-4, uh, 4 ici dans le sud de la France, uh, sur uh, Antibes, Antibes, en portable, portable QRP. Uh, merci d'avoir répondu, nous avons déjà discuté avant. Hein. Vous êtes sur une de mes vidéos. <rire> merci beaucoup, uh, Petra, à vous. Très bonne année de F4 Whisky, bravo Yankee, bonne journée, au revoir. Hey, if it keeps on working, I'm going to keep on trying lower, so 80 meters, now with a 5 meter whip, uh, that's going to be tough. The signals I do here are pretty weak, it's just not the right time of day. Thank you very much, you are 5-5 uh, five, five here in the uh, south of France, uh, please give me your QRZ again, QRZ again. Uh, Michael? Michael, Oscar Hotel 7, Bravo Golf. Oscar Hotel 7, Bravo Golf. Uh, oh, QSL, I think uh, you posted on Facebook that uh, you had a new call from uh, Finland and got, got the uh, license from Finland, is that correct? Yes, yes, Russia, Russia, it is correct. Uh, I just uh, some uh, weeks ago passed my uh, new uh, exam and now I have a uh, uh, my second uh, or another sign uh, it is Oscar Hotel 7 Bravo Golf. Uh, how do you copy me, Phil? Oh, very good, very good. Uh, well, you have a good signal here. You are 5-5 five, five here in the south of France, in the town of Antibes. And uh, uh, you will be on the video on YouTube, so uh, check it out. <laughs> and uh, thank you very much for uh, returning. Uh, for uh, returning my call and congratulations on the uh, on the license uh, back to you thank you very much and a happy new year this is foxtrot for whiskey bravo yankee have a nice evening so pretty impressed with this radio i have to say uh and two contacts with, uh, you know, uh, Yankee Lima stations, <laughs> always nice. And uh, so it was very interesting uh, what you can do with a five meter whip. It's a very short antenna and it does work, you know, a little bit of a damp ground. And uh, really that's all you need, a bit of propagation and uh, things happen. So the radio uh, works really, really well, I have to say. Um, even more impressed than I was before. I had no trouble on CW this time. Uh, there was no keyer, keyer issues and uh, that's really nice. So I think my, uh, my uh, magnetic loop uh, does have a little bit of uh, common mode current. There were a couple glitches, but uh, you know, nothing to write about. And I really would like to have one.
for portable operations outside when the weather isn't that great uh, it's excellent and I have to say that's what an Allocraft KX2 should be if only uh, Allocraft would make radios with a case like this one that would be excellent and it's really impressive so if you want to help me out on Patreon <laughs> Great contacts on 40 meters, uh, 15 meters, 20 meters, uh, CW on 30 meters. Nobody on 80 or 160, but uh, you know that's to be expected at this time of day. But hey, what else can I say? Uh, it's a very good radio. Too bad it's not half the price, but it's not made in China. Probably much better quality control, I would expect, and uh, it's definitely well built. And there isn't much else I can say, guys. Uh, it's just good. Even with an antenna, that's not the most efficient. Uh, it's a good antenna, you know, I love the hybrid micro and uh, the, with a five meter whip, it works really well. But, uh, you know, it's not an unfed half wave and it's not a full size dipole. Even so, I could have made contacts all day with this. So thumbs up on my part. Uh, Lab 599, great job. Uh, it's, uh, it's really good and uh, I wish I had more time to test it and uh, I wish I had one but uh, hey that's how it goes so I hope you guys liked it it wasn't uh, super uh, interesting or really in-depth as a review but uh, until next time have a good one